From the windswept barrens. From their breathtaking ocean cities. They come. Brave warriors gathering forth in noble tradition. Battling for ascension. The greatest among them will be crowned emperor. Today, with the sponsorship of the Leandri Corporation, this tournament enters the 24th century. Welcome to a perfect combination of ancient tradition and high-tech blood sport. Welcome to the Ascension Rites. Hello again, my fellow gamers. It's Turd Rocket 87 with a video view for Unreal Championship 2 The Leandri Conflict. Uh, so if you're familiar with the Unreal series, the first thing you notice about Unreal Championship 2 is that, uh, unlike other games of the franchise, it uses a third-person camera view. Some people were angry about this at first. Uh, I, for one, don't care, because it's not just the camera that separates this game from the rest of the series. Uh, for instance, uh, one of the main reasons they went with a third-person view is the game's addition of melee combat. Every character has a melee weapon that they can pull out at any time, and it'll automatically switch to third-person view. So it might be blades if you're a Scar Warrior, or a pair of energy swords, and you can actually play through the entire game like this without ever firing a shot. Uh, because you can project a shield with them, you can deflect rockets and incoming projectiles, or you can even fly a few hundred feet across the map to reach enemies at a range a lot quicker. Um, and the melee weapons, they're extremely fun and innovative, and it's just one of the things that makes UC2 very different from not only other games in the Unreal series, but also just different from really anything that's out there right now. Uh, at the same time, it's an Unreal game, and it wouldn't be an Unreal game without outrageous guns in your arsenal. Yeah, most of the classics return. There's the shock rifle, uh, the flat cannon's still there, the bio rifle's still there, and, you know, of course, the rocket launcher. Uh, they even brought back the stinger from the first Unreal. And you can carry two at a time, uh, one energy, one explosive weapon. And there's even and there's universal ammo scattered throughout the, every map. So the guns you choose at the beginning of the match are the only guns you'll have for the duration of the match. And this actually makes which guns you choose a very tactical decision. There's also a fantastic cast of characters to choose from, uh, each with their own strengths and weaknesses. And they range from a Scar Warrior to petite humans to hulking Leandria robots. And basically. Uh, characters come in three sizes, small, medium, and large. And it's very simple. Large characters have more health, uh, they're a lot stronger melee attack, but they're slow. Small characters have less health, a weaker melee attack, but they're really fast. And medium characters are somewhere in the middle. More characters does mean more content, though, because each character has their own list of missions to complete, and they call this tournament mode. So, you know, it can get repetitive at times, but like I said, at least there's a ton of content. And there's also a mode called Ascension Rise, and this is basically the single player story or campaign mode. It's probably about four to six hours long, depending on the difficulty setting you choose. And the matches vary, so they don't always take place in the tournament. And surprisingly, they don't get repetitive. And obviously, this is a multiplayer game. Uh, but there is a story, and it's not a bad story. It's a bit corny sometimes, but it doesn't waste your time. It gets to the point, and it isn't the best narrative you're going to find in a video game. But it doesn't really take itself seriously, and there's a lot more good than there is bad. I failed you once before, forefathers. Forgive me. But do not forgive their sacrilege. I will make you proud. Uh, there's a challenge mode, which is a lot of really tough missions lined up where all the odds are stacked against you, and it's almost an understatement because it's beyond challenging. <laughs> and if you can beat this mode, you'll get a really nice surprise. Uh, so, of course, the multiplayer is what shines about this game. Uh, it's up to eight players on Live or Link. Uh, there's a good variety of modes to choose from, including, you know, CTF, Deathmatch, you know, you've got your standard team Deathmatch. Uh, there's also Nolly Slaughter, and my favorite, Overdose. Uh, 
there's a l very little lag, and you can even tweak little things about the match, like uh, if you're hosting. Like, you can ban guns so it's just melee or vice versa. Or you can even weaken the gravity so you can jump and float around the map, you know, just little things like that make the uh, match modification uh, different than, you know, some of the other games that we've seen. So, uh, all in all, UC2 is the closest Xbox game I've ever played that forms a truly unique experience. I'd give it a 9 out of 10 for its innovations and its fun factor, and it is not playable on the Xbox 360, but if you're an action gamer who's looking for a title that's not only going to surprise you, but will not in any wise disappoint you, this is definitely your game. Lucky shot. You have won the match.